welcome to today's video. My hair is super, super greasy. I haven't even washed my face. I look kind of atrocious, but I really wanted to make this video because a lot of people have been requesting this and I have tried to film this video so many times and just failed miserably. I don't know why. I just, every time I try to talk about this, I stumble over my words and I just, it's just very hard to talk about. I don't know why, but today's video is going to be an introduction to cloth nappies for beginners because that is me. I'm not an expert. I'm not going to be using any crazy talk that's hard to listen to. I'm just coming from a girl who is a first time mum who is using cloth nappies. Um, so hopefully it's easy for you guys to understand. So basically this is a cloth nappy. There are multiple different types of cloth nappies. The ones that you literally pin up yourselves that are just cloth. Um, there is like all in ones. I don't even know, like two in ones. There are a lot of different types. The type that I know about, the type that I use is called a pocket nappy and it looks like this. This is the nappy. This brand is Bear and Moo um, in the color duck blue, duck egg blue. And the reason why it's called a pocket nappy is because it has a little pocket in it and inside is an insert. So let's get into what a cloth nappy is specifically a pocket nappy. This is the nappy shell um, and it'll be a color or a pattern. This is the, you know, the part that you see on the baby. Um, so it's waterproof on the outside and then the inside is absorbing to a certain degree. Um, and this one in particular has a suede lining. So this lining stays dry because you put this little thing inside of it to absorb the pee. Um, and this is an insert. <laughs> this is what you call an insert. This one is made out of microfiber. There are different kinds of inserts you can buy. This one's a four layer microfiber one, but you can buy a bamboo one, you can buy a hemp one, you can buy a mixed one, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is a man-made synthetic fabric that is extremely fast absorbing, which is great to get the moisture away from baby's bum, but it also means that it cannot go directly on skin, meaning you have to put it inside the pocket. You cannot just lay it on top and let your baby sit on it. It's not good for their skin. It'll, it'll hurt it. It'll cause some damage and irritability and stuff. Um, so yes, again, this is a four layer one from Bear Moo, which provides a lot of absorbency. However, the microfiber is not as absorbent as a bamboo or a hemp, but the bamboo or hemp's are slower absorbing than this one. So your baby's bum stays wetter for longer in those ones, but those ones are also a natural option and those natural fibers can go on your baby's skin directly. So you can just put a bamboo insert right on top and that's fine too. Um, so that's a little thing about inserts. So yes, this is the nappy. <laughs> so you fold this up, chuck it inside your nappy like so. I don't know why I'm making it look like more of a mesh than it is. There you go, you've got your nappy. You can put more than one insert in, but for me, it just makes it way too bulky for Cove, and so I just use one insert. Um, so you may be thinking like, well, okay, it's reusable, but how do you size it? You can see in the front, there's heaps and heaps of buttons, and this is for resizing. For height, you use these ones and fold them down at the front, and then you have a shorter nappy. And then to make it smaller, you would button them into the very middle. You can literally button them right to the middle. And that creates a really, really tiny nappy for a tiny baby. If you button it right to the edges, then you've got a really, really big nappy for a really big baby. So that's how the sizing works. And you can see here, this is where the leg would go through and the gusset and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all I really need to talk about for this, for what is a nappy. So I zoomed in on there because I wanted to show you guys my speech impediment. So it used to be a lot more prevalent um, back in the day. I've gotten a lot better at it, but <laughs> fun fact, I had a speech impediment that was very, very, every single sentence I did where I wouldn't close my mouth and I'd talk like this for everything. And you can see that I use every, like I use my tongue for every anything I say and that's what I just did there I said nappy nappy so I just wanted to expose myself I guess let's get into why I've chosen to do cloth nappies now first and foremost it's a cuter option <laughs> 
This on your baby's bum is so much cuter than the disposables. It's just bloody adorable. I can't. That's my first persuasion to you guys is that it's way prettier, way cuter. Um, but I have three main points that are actually important. Um, firstly, I'm going to talk about money. So I don't have a lot of money. I am a new mum. I am an ex unexpected mother <laughs> to Cove. Um, I'm also a single mum. So, you know, I'm providing for Cove and babies are expensive. The cloth nibbies are actually an affordable option. So up front, they are costly. Up front, a whole nappy set could cost you maybe 800 at the most dollars. You could obviously buy more and more and more and cost you more, but you know, it, it costs quite, it costs quite a lot up front. One cloth nappy, like this one is $17, I think. Um, whereas you could get a whole pack of nappies for $17. Um, so the costly, so up front it costs, oh my God, why can't I speak? <laughs> so up front, they cost quite a bit, but in the long run, it'll save you thousands of dollars. Let me put it into perspective. So Cove turns three months next Tuesday and I have spent $150 on disposable nappies that have gone straight in the bin after being used, right? $150 could probably get you eight to 10 reusable cloth nappies that will last you years. So you've spent $150, but you never have to spend that $150 again. Whereas with disposables, you've spent $150 in three months and that's just on night nappies for the most part. And I got a lot of free nappies at the hospital. So $150 on nappies is quite a bit when you're thinking, I'm just using them at night from now on. And to begin with, I was getting a lot of free nappies. Um, and then you have to spend it again and again and again, and it becomes a weekly expense. Whereas the cloth nappies, they're a one-off expense other than washing um, water and power, you know, for washing. However, the water and power for washing really does not add up to the thousands and thousands of dollars you will spend on disposable nappies. So that's my first thing is that it saves you money. Now you might be thinking, how the hell am I ever going to be able to afford cloth nappies if they're so, so expensive up front? There are multiple options. I'm just going to give you a little budging. You could do one nappy at a time, inserting one nappy into your routine, just trying it out. Because obviously if you don't stick to it, you've just wasted a whole lot of money. So I would definitely recommend just trying it out first. Um, but these websites usually offer part pay, after pay, some kind of financing option um, where, you know, you could be spending maybe $30 a week on cloth nappies as you would you know, buy your weekly nappies in your grocery shop. So there are ways of buying these and if you can fit it into your budget, you will end up saving so much more money in the long run. Like I've been able to save quite a bit of money as compared to if I was spending that much money on his nappies every single week, you know? That is the first big, big reason why I love cloth nappies and why I'm using them. Now the second one is something that I'm super passionate about as well, which is the environmental impact. So basically, um, I mean, it's no secret that disposables are extremely damaging to our environment. You know, one baby produces so, so much rubbish and how many babies are there being born every single day? Um, it's a lot of nappies, it's a lot of rubbish um, and it's a huge, huge, you know, it has a huge impact on our earth and our landfills are just filled with dirty human feces nappies, you know, it's real bad. But because I'm educated on this and because I don't want to contribute to the landfills, even though I, I still am, you know, with my night nappies and stuff, I still am contributing. I want to contribute less. <laughs> I want to lower my donation of poopy nappies to the landfill. Um, and yeah, that's a big reason why I'm doing it. Um, you know, nappies, I just, it just has a huge, a huge, huge, huge impact on our environment. I don't know, I don't know every single fact there is to know, but nappies will last yonks on this earth. It takes a long time for a nappy to break down, like years and years and years. I don't know how much, I'll probably put it up here if I can be bothered Googling it. So the third reason is that cloth nappies are a better option for baby skin. Um, so something that's really kind of crappy is that disposable nappies don't have to disclose the ingredients that they have in them because they're not, you know, a food product, but they're going on your baby's skin pretty much 24 seven. 
and a lot of the nappies have chlorines, chemicals, parabens, just really, really harsh chemicals, um, bleaches that are going directly on your baby skin 24 seven pretty much. It's not good. So cloth nappies are obviously the better option. They are just, you know, especially the natural fiber ones, the bamboo ones and stuff like that. But even the normal cloth ones, it's just so much nicer for your baby skin. But there are disposable options that are biodegradable or just disposable that are like chlorine free, bleach free, because I use Cute & Co at night and that is all of the above. So there are disposable or more convenient nappies that don't contain all those horrible ingredients. Um, so yeah. That is my third reason that I use them. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go into how I wash them. I'm not gonna go into, a, you know, all that stuff. That's gonna be other videos. I just thought I would introduce you guys to the idea of cloth nappies really, really quickly because a lot of people are asking me to start making videos on them, but I think it's best if I just like split the videos up so that, you know, it's less daunting for you guys to join the cloth nappy world. And if you're still watching, um, because <laughs> I know some of you have clicked off but if you are still watching and you are a mum um, who currently uses disposables do not think that I'm snobbing you or saying that you know you're doing a bad thing because I'm still using disposables too um, it's convenient it's easy when you're a mum a holy heck <laughs> there is so much on your plate the amount of work that it takes to be a mum is crazy so I do not you know don't think that you're doing a bad job because you're not already using cloth nappies um, I'm only using them during the day and I still use disposables I use disposables full-time when Cove was little at the end of the day that is okay <laughs> you know this is just my little take on it and I really love them so if you're a mum don't feel bad or anything like that I'm not putting you down as a mum and I want you to know that because I think it's so important for all of us to just not snob at each other, especially when we're first time mums. So thank you guys so much for joining today's video. If you liked today's video, um, leave a like and comment down below any questions you have for me um, and I will answer them in a future video or probably just reply to them as well. Just feel really anxious today for some reason and I think it's just because of the weather and not being able to like get out of the house and socialize and stuff because of isolation. So, mm. but yeah, anyways. Alright, I'm gonna actually just go edit this video, so, yeah. Um, okay, bye!